All right, let's go see what Elite Cameraman has to say about episode 68, part one. Here's the analysis video, you guys. Hello, everyone. Hello, Elite, Elite Cameraman. Cameraman here. Welcome. It was kind of unexpected, but episode 68, part one, dropped earlier than we thought it would. And only yeah, a couple that was... hours after the first leak, the new episode dropped. That was really quick. I was not expecting that myself. Like a nuke, and it was quite the show off from upgrading. And it, yeah, Titan it was TV a man. great episode. I was I not expecting it to be about the Titan TV man. I thought the episode was going to be based around inside the facility, not back outside. But I'm glad. I was actually hoping it was going to be showing us the fight of more Titan TV men. Saw the new abilities of upgraded Titan TV man and what he is actually capable of. The new Blood abilities is crazy. Clowned on every G-Man toilet clone like they were nothing. Nothing. The other two I Titans love it. really have to get some crazy upgrades to get on the king's level. At this point. I don't even know if there is any toilet that's even half as strong as upgraded Titan TV man, but that wasn't all because we got a glimpse of what's awaiting us as well. And before we get into it, make sure to like this video, and as usual, let's try to reach to 100,000 likes. Yes! While you are at it, don't forget to subscribe too if you are new here. And love TV woman, uh, I mean like upgraded Titan TV man's new abilities. Anyways, here we go. This episode. Here we go, guys. Make sure you guys go sub to Elite Cameraman. I will link his link in the description box below. Make sure you guys go check out Elite Cameraman. Let's get into this episode. It actually starts right before episode 67, part 4 ends. And for the first time, I don't want to see series, I can't see him die again. New episode connects to the next episode without any time skips. No time I'm skips. That's not cool. Counting multiple part episodes since they have to be connected because it's all in the same episode. But sadly, we get to witness the tragic death of the poor large speaker man once F again. Chad for speaker man, guys. Man gods rest his soul. He did, After he the did, door closes, he did very we start well. hearing the G-Man clones yapping as usual, and it seems like we are the only normal agent in the vicinity at this point. I honestly thought we were going to see this episode from Titan Cameraman's POV because there was no one left from what we can see, but I guess not. Right after we see the plain G-Man toilet shooting his rockets at upgraded Titan TV Man, but we already know that he is rocket proof, so he defends himself pretty easily, leading up to him nice. slashing one of the rockets and yes. using his core laser as a blaster instead of a constant laser, knocking off the weakest oh, G-Man right. toilet. So they can switch their intensity for their cores. Slashing one of the rockets. So and it's like it's like more of like a projectile. Getting attacked from behind. And it's the laser G-Man toilet clone. It also looks like he can aim to a single point with all his lasers at once. Oh, concentrated and fire! Should do a lot of damage. It probably should do enough damage to kill Titan Speakerman, if I'm honest. But what oh. we see here is incredible. Upgraded Titan TV Man actually turns his core to the laser. And even though the cores have been weak points for other Titans, Upgraded Titan TV Man uses the energy output from the Laser G-Man toilet clone to increase his own powers. And we can see that so he's like absorbing Titan it. TV Man's monitors getting a little brighter and yellowish while he is being charged. Oh, that's also cool. Sadly for Laser G-Man Toilet, his lasers run out of fuel, and Mr. Ultra Dumb Laser Toilet instantly switches up his attitude. Ultra Dumb Laser Toilet? Mode. Right oh yeah, second, look at him. We can actually hear him. Yes, he's like, uh-oh. I, I love it when G-Man goes into shock. He goes into shock a lot in this episode. Like, he's he, he overextends himself. I, to me, he's like that little kid that, that thinks he's so much stronger than he actually is. Upgraded Titan TV Man say something in reverse, but it's not really clear what it is. After listening to it hundreds of times, my conclusion is he either says, hey, you or you idiot. He's all but bark, no bite. No idea. That's what so I was looking for. And decide yourself. All bark, you no bite. to listen to it a couple times, but here you go. What the upgraded what Titan say? TV man does right after this point is nothing but pure Giga Chad behavior. He's straight <laughs> up flexing Chad all behavior. his new abilities as we thought he would. But I wasn't I expecting it. him to pull off as much as he did. Right yeah, after this is the screen insane. turns back to upgraded Titan TV man, we can see that his core is spinning so fast, and all the yellow energy has turned into purple energy, and it's leaking out from everywhere. He's like absorbing all he the power, like he's getting so ultra powered like right now. Beloved TV woman, and literally reveals that he also <laughs> has lasers on his TV monitor as well. So he's got lasers. So, so he starts using. So the these are these are like what? These are like one, two, three. These are three TV panels plus the the two cannons on top of the map of rocket engines you can see where it attaches how he attaches his head on into his body it's kind of cool lasers he has and it looks like they are actually quite powerful because just two lasers were enough to drive off the laser g-man clone after this nice two helicopter toilets comes into the scene and starts shooting their rockets at upgraded Titan at his TV body man and if you look carefully you can see the rockets spinning and refueling while spinning 
Dafuk really did some mind tricks for us to not see the rockets appear out of thin air, but I like it. We all know that these rockets won't even scratch him, but he Very doesn't cool. stop the flex there and literally pulls out his two monitors on his arms as if his head wasn't enough and starts controlling all three monitor heads separately. So he can, wait, also, so he can control his body and the monitors with his main head detached. That's that's some crazy powers, man. Wow, so he's got one more monitor on his belt. I wonder if that comes off. Looks like his arm TV monitors have guns too. They probably are not that crazy powerful, but still works good. After sending his monitors to the helicopter toilets, he gets shot from the back once more, and it's the plain G-Man toilet clone that we saw earlier with his face all burned up. This is so but wild. the crazy thing is, upgraded Titan TV Man can still move his body. Yes, exactly. Even though three of his monitors are doing the same thing this also. crazy. That requires some crazy skill, and this dude is so overpowered. He decides to just jump onto the plain G-Man toilet and fall down with him to kill him. He's but like the POV a... cameraman turns to... He's like a full-on army on his own, man. Titan upgraded Titan TV man. Was left for a second. We see the main head. Oh, they can use the, the monitors. To the red beam. torture laser G-man toilet clone to death. And when we look up, we wow. see one of the arm monitors using the orange beam to burn one of the helicopter toilets, while the other <laughs> arm is using <laughs> the purple so cool. beam to control the other helicopter toilet and crash it into oh, the, the other faces. toilet. Oh, the faces! Wait, does this face on the right have a happy face? I didn't notice that. Look how happy! Look how happy he is! After the plan succeeds, we can see the monitors having different oh emotes, God. and to be honest, Titan TV Man is such a troll. After this, he's, we see the oh, scene on the, the right side with the laser G-Man toilet, and he seems dead after we see something inside his head explode. This already confirms us that these toilets were the same type as the G-Man toilet we saw in episode 65, which had another toilet controlling Whoa. from the inside. The main monitor starts coming back to the body, but here in this scene we see something very weird. If you look carefully in the background, no. there is someone watching. Who? And no, it's not Secret Agent. It's the UFO toilet lurking in the background, Wait, watching the, the fall of the G-Man toilet clone. The UFO toilet back there? This scene is actually creepy if you think about it, because he is there not helping at all and I just had no idea. the situation while not even running away. Why? We know that in episode 60, the G-Man toilet that the Astro Toilets tried to kill was an imposter as well, but we had no idea where they were all this time. Looks like they probably were spying on the G-Man toilet clones. Weird. I don't know what they are planning, but for some reason they don't want the G-Man clone army to happen. They're definitely up to something. From what we can gather. Right after this, we also see the upgraded Titan TV man pulling out the head inside the plane G-Man toilet and cutting its neck. Nice! After getting his head oh. into his hands, he just squishes it and destroys the head without any extra effort. That's At crazy. This point, his core also seems to have stabilized, and there is no energy being leaked, but what happened right after probably shocked all of us. Suddenly, a parasite toilet comes out of nowhere after such a long time and tries to infect upgraded Titan TV man while his monitors are gone. The parasite toilet probably thought that it was the perfect time to do it. Yeah, and that would seem like the perfect time. The infection process works in great detail. Like he's got an orifice time. in his neck completely open for the parasite to attack. I'm surprised. And it literally looks it like didn't a fly work. sucking blood out of a human body. But yeah, the exactly. The a fly. parasite toilet reaches into it. He starts burning and getting electrocuted, dying while trying to escape. This new defense mechanism will most likely wow. be put into the other two Titans as Very well when cool. they get their own upgrades, but we can totally agree defense that against upgraded the, against Titan the parasite. TV man probably solos everyone at this point in time. We see his monitors come back, and right after this, the cool. POV cameraman looks to his right, Transformer. and we see the Titan duo trying to hold the Buzzsaw G-Man toilet, is funny. who is looking so terrified, probably because of the scenes he just witnessed, and blood <laughs> knows he is done for. Definitely. His shocked face tells us everything we need to know, but the Titans look at the G-Man clone, and they decide to let him be. The G-Man toilet kind of gets aggressive at Titan Whoa. Speakerman for a second, but he really don't care about the two Titans. He knows that he has to take down the big guy. His ego is probably hurt as well. Even though the G-Man clones are clones, they always have the same attitude, and I think yeah, they that's might true. have his memories or something. They do seem to have all the same personality. All bark, no bite. The Buzzsaw G-Man toilet starts getting ready for his attack, literally grinding his teeth. And this was the scene that was leaked earlier today, but we all know what happened right after. Yes. The POV cameraman turns at the upgraded Titan TV man and he says, How pathetic in reverse to the Buzzsaw G-Man toilet pathetic. while pulling his blade out. <laughs> here you go. Listen to it yourself. Here we go, here we go. 
<laughs> After this voice line, we see one of the craziest moves ever done in the series once again. Upgraded Titan TV Man uses the teleport ability on a small scale and this opens a cool. portal for his arm to teleport, but not himself. Just his arm, man. The buzzsaw G Man toilets buzzsaws from the back with his teleported arm, <laughs> and we can even see the other two Titans in shock right at this scene. That's the a wild move. The G-Man toilet loses the battle even before he realizes, and while he is turning behind in terror, he suddenly gets stabbed right through the head, just like how it happened to Scientist Toilet in Episode 67, Part 3, leaving a hole inside his head. Oh, I guess this is man. Titan TV Man's new signature That was move. wild. After this crazy scene, Titan Speakerman starts clapping Good. Titan TV Man in a normal way. Good job, you guys. Just like how Speaker Woman clapped the Glitch Plunger Cameraman in episode 66. Oh, yeah, that's right. Titan Cameraman also gives a thumbs up to Titan TV Man while this is going on. And to be honest, he is pretty sturdy. <laughs> Look at the marinara sauce coming out of his mouth. To be honest. Is that his tongue? Or his bottom lip? sturdy when you think about what happened. He is still standing even after all that. I think once he goes through his upgrades while getting fixed, he might actually become stronger than Titan TV Man's current version. It really is a possibility. Maybe. After this, the POV cameraman looks at the upgraded Titan TV Man, but we start hearing some skibidi noises from the left. Oh. And while Titan TV Man is turning to our left, we hear a normal toilet coming towards oh, us. Oh, come right on. What's this guy going to do? This was kind of funny because what the hell is a normal toilet exactly. doing? Exactly. Suddenly, he gets picked up by a large TV man, and he smashes the toilet, killing him <laughs> like just <nothing>. like that. <laughs> we can also see so many camera helicopters arriving at the scene to most likely help with the raid. Yeah, it looks like backup now. And he literally says, shut the fuck up to what? the toilet in reverse. Here you go. Listen to it yourself if you don't Wait. believe me. <laughs> he says After it. After this, the POV cameraman points at the Dude, large that's TV hilarious. man and shows the Skibidi toilet bunker door. So the next episode has to take place inside the facility. And that'll be the difference for us to recognize him. After this, the large TV man looks at the door and says, Not now. First we watch in reverse and points at his TV monitor. We already knew that large TV man could show what's going on in cameraman POVs from episode 60's ending. Oh, that's right. Like we we'll might see the POV from his um, inside, TV. Starting from part two of episode 68. But here you go. Listen to the large TV man yourself. Yeah, we can watch. Watch what's going inside on the TV. That makes sense. This really was a crazy episode, and it's just the start of this new Skibidi bunker arc. I really want to see what's inside, and that's kind of why I was hoping that we would skip the whole fight. But it was worth watching because Titan TV man's new abilities are just dank. If you Definitely. enjoyed today's video, make sure Thank to Thank like you, Ali Cameraman. That episode was dank. I love the new abilities of Upgrade Titan TV, man. I love it. Make sure you guys go sub to Ali Cameraman and sub to my channel as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a great night.